Chapter 11 The Planet Eaters There are countless stars and planets in our universe. Planet Eaters are a group of giant ogres whose food is huge planets that have oceans, deserts and mountains. To get some idea of the size of the Planet Eaters, you have to see them from far away. If you were to put yourself next to them, they wouldn't even see you. And in all of them, there's no one like the Great Tukron. As big as a star, he is known for swallowing a medium-sized planet in one gulp. He's also talented at finding the tastiest planets. At one time, this had made him the most famous planet eater. But even greater than his fame for being an explorer was his fame for being selfish, since he never shared his wonderful meals with anyone. The other planet eaters only got to eat dusty, tasteless planets. Planet eaters live a very long time and can grow very big. So, for thousands of years, Tukron consumed the best of planets. It so happened that one day he chose a lovely red, blue and yellow planet whose crust had the best flavor you could imagine but its center was made of the hardest steel in the universe. And the indestructible teeth of our famous planet eater shattered into a thousand pieces. Nothing like that had ever happened to a planet eater before. It turned out to be the worst of eventualities. So many mouth-watering planets within his reach. But New Turkan didn't have a single tooth to taste any of them. When he asked for help from the other planet eaters, they all remembered his selfishness and refused. The previously colossal and famous planet eater became feeble as he suffered from hunger. All he could do was cry. He spent a long time hungry till he realized that if he wanted others to help him, he would have to be the first to help them, even though he was very feeble now. Thinking about what he could help others, he realized that he was still a brilliant discoverer of the tastiest planets. So he talked to some of the other planet eaters and offered to show them where the tastiest planets concealed themselves. What a great joy for everyone! Other planet eaters discovered flavors they didn't even know existed. They were all very grateful to Tukron for sharing his great skill and became attentive to him. After that, only some or the other planet eater helped crush up some mountains or make him a lovely desert juice.